So a day ago I put out a tweet just saying the words fuck cyclists and in like not even five minutes after that I said fuck vegans. I'm now getting attacked by the vegan and the cyclist community, but mainly the cyclist community. Alright, so, uh, the way that that fuck cyclist tweet started was more on the lines of my mum was driving me to Carl's Jr. and there was a cyclist in the cyclist lane, but he kept veering into the main road and my mum almost hit him several times. But, uh, when I posted the tweet saying fuck cyclists, I didn't really get an immediate response. I got a response as I was about to go to bed. So I'm going to read some of these nice responses to you and give you my thoughts on them. So, first tweet. Great advice, or that exercise means we're amazing in the sack. Now, this is where you're probably wrong, because uh, I'm not one that has a lot of sexual experience. In fact, I lost my virginity last week, but I'm pretty sure that having a lot of exercise doesn't really mean you're amazing in the sack. I mean, you could be like fucking Dwayne The Rock Johnson levels of buff and shit, and you'd probably still only last like 10 seconds. Why do you want to do that to my 9 year old niece, my neighbor in her 80s, and millions of complete strangers and choose to announce it in public? Are you an Egypt? Well, let me ask you this, Greg Collins. Are you an Egypt? The fact that you have to use a different word to call me an idiot because I'm pretty sure you've seen my Twitter feed and you probably are aware that I myself classify myself as an obsolete mule that's a fucking moron proves that you still want to call me an idiot but you just don't want to call me an idiot yourself. And that last thing that I just said pretty much should prove to you of how much of an idiot I am. Second, why would I want to fuck your nine-year-old niece? Also, your nine-year-old niece is a cyclist? Really? It's time to throw her off the good old bridge, mate. But also, really? Fucking a nine-year-old? I'm not my dad! At least offer me dinner first. I'm not that easy. Well, you might not be easy to get into bed with, but, you know, if there's one thing you're easy at, it's hitting you with a fucking car. Excellent advice! Cyclists are usually very fit. Powerful thighs, firm bottoms, and loads of sexual stamina due to being used to long hours of exercising on that bike. Well, I'm going to go back to like the first tweet and my response to that. Just because you're very fit doesn't really mean you probably have loads of sexual stamina. I mean, when I jack off, I have loads of sexual stamina, but when I actually go and fuck a chick, you know, I don't last that long, you know. My hand, with my hand, I can go on for about two hours, but when it comes to fucking an actual chick, I only last like 2.5 seconds. He wishes. I wish what? What am I wishing for? I mean, I wish all of you were fucking dead. Cyclist is stupid. They're more stupid than I am. Getting a bit personal there, Lance. How is that personal? I mean, I'm sorry if I offended you because, uh, I mean, can cyclists be considered a race? I'm not sure. Someone did respond to the fucking, at least offer me dinner first tweet saying you may have to recommend a vegan restaurant. Now, first off, I don't even think I'd be allowed in a vegan restaurant because most vegans, if you haven't noticed, aren't overweight because most of them are skin and bones from not getting fucking protein from eating meat. So, me being a fat person, I probably would not be able to fit through a vegan door. Let me guess, it was a vegan cyclist who made a mess of the coffee enema you felt the need to announce. They were probably just confused when they found an asshole at both ends. Now, also I did tweet, I think it was like a couple weeks ago before recording this video thing, that uh, I got a coffee enema. And obviously that's a joke, why would I want to shove something up my ass? Actually, no, a coffee enema wouldn't be a bad idea. I might actually do that one day. But, but, the fact that you're thinking that I'm serious about it, you're pretty much short a few brain cells, or you have a few chromosomes, like a few extra chromosomes. Lance is a cunt. Well, I am a cunt. 
ask McKenna. She will gladly tell you that I'm a cunt. Also, I did respond to this tweet, and, uh, you know, um, like, that was my response. LMFAO, Lance, you're getting butt-fucked by the cyclist. Now you just gotta wait for the vegans to get butt-hurt now. Well, Martina, I read Martina's tweet, fuck. But, Martina, Martina, Martina. I've mainly pissed off the cyclists. The vegans, however, that can be another story. I mean, I'm pretty much attacking them in this video, so you never know. They might respond. Come back when you're the last man on Earth. I'll still tell you to piss off. Well, um, first off, I did tweet to this saying man, and I did ask if they were assuming my gender since they called me a man. But, uh, really? You had to put man in quotes because of the fact that I classify myself as a man-child? I mean, being a man-child still means that I'm a man. I just have the maturity levels of a child. You'll need to queue. We're very much in demand. What? Cyclists think that they're in demand? Who the fuck would want to date a fucking guy that wears skin tight pants that isn't a fucking, like, stripper or some shit? Or a wrestler? I mean, what? Cyclists in high demand? Are you fucking high, mate? Are you fucking not? Have you been smoking that thing, Kush? Buy me I drink first? What? 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 I'm just not even going to say anything about that. After a while, as a joke, I said that the cyclists and probably vegans were getting to me and I was going to commit suicide. And if I get 50 likes, I'll post a video of me committing suicide. So, um... Someone said, off you go then, I just responded with, uh, this tweet needs more likes, so please go on my Twitter profile and like that tweet, I need to fucking commit suicide right now. Some people in the replies are downright psychopaths. Well, Jack, you're not wrong about that, they are psychopaths. Now, a psychopath is pretty much a cyclist that's a psychopath, and they're storming up a cyclone. A cyclone of hate. Get it? Cyclone? Because they're, they're cyclists. God, I really should stop writing my own comedy and fucking hire someone to write this shit for me. I bet you love Blink-182. How did they know? Oh yeah, also after a while, uh, I did end up posting a picture of a bunch of cyclists getting hit by a car. So someone did respond to that saying, Posting that picture says a lot about you. The dregs of humanity. Present always, but thankfully limited in their actions by right-minded people of the world. Now... Once again, cyclist people, you're not top shit. Also, stop trying to use these fucking different words to make yourself one, seem more sophisticated, and two, just finding more complex ways of calling me a fucking moron. I already know that I'm a moron. Fuck the overweight. Oh, oh no, 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 that... Okay, guys, I'm, ju I'm just gonna stop making this video. That fucking insult just got to me. Oh, fuck, no, that original insult. Oh, fucking hell. I'm, no, I'm just gonna fucking kill myself right now. But yeah, as of the time of me recording this commentary portion for the actual video, um, I guess that's most of the tweets that I have gotten, like, in response to the cyclist pandemic type thing that I've kind of started. The one thing I find odd, however, is the fact that I can make multiple religious jokes and like, you know, make multiple jokes about, well, make multiple jokes and throw multiple insults about religion and shit and like, yeah, granted I'm pissing off some religious people, but they don't get as mad as these cyclists have gone. So, these cyclists. Thank you for watching my video. If you really like it, then you should subscribe. Bye. I want to fuck a dog in the ass. He wants to fuck a dog in the ass. I want to fuck a dog. That's right, kids. I tried to fuck your mom in the ass. I tried to fuck your dad in the ass.